The amount of expertise on our floor, I believe is second to none, that allow us to build a machine better than anything they've ever seen before. You have a lot of really bright people that love to solve problems, and that's really what this comes down to. We're known for building a good quality product and having good customer service. Trimation is a company that builds automated assembly equipment for value add. We were founded in 1995. We, we bought a milling machine and we started making uh, components for a local plastics facility. You know, we started in 300 square feet. Here we are 27 years later, 45,000 square feet. We're adding on another 40,000 square feet. We have uh, nine CNC's. We have 50 employees uh, building up fully automated assembly machines. Our customers have been slowly changing. 10 years ago, it was primarily just high volume. That's slowly changing in the new environment, you know, because of the shortage of labor. And another real important part of that is the quality requirements in automotive and really every manufacturing continues to go up. If you study that at all, humans always make mistakes. We're just not built to do the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. So a lot of the equipment that we can add to an automation uh, machine can supplement that so that the human being can do the more intelligent actions to you know, oversee the work. So we do anything from a simple tabletop fixture that might have one or two actions, maybe even manual clamping, right, to uh, larger assembly machines like what's behind me that will do a product from start to finish. And some of the equipment that we build on the floor assembles a part, verifies it, does all the processes that are needed, and can sometimes put a part out in less than one second. From a capability standpoint, we have the ability to design a machine, fab, build our own panels, program those robots. So from a capability standpoint, it's, it's uh, everything. And one of the reasons we do that is so that we're in control of our own destiny. So we control as much of that as we can inside because deadlines are always key for our customer. I, mean, I believe we do build machines better than anybody else. What stands us apart is the customer service. If somebody has a problem at three o'clock on a Friday, we will drive to Chicago to get that part and bring it back and get them running by nine o'clock at night. I don't know how many companies will do that. That service you know, always trumps what you can deliver physically. Once we establish a relationship with a client, we do our best to anticipate their needs. We will make sure that the job is done no, no matter how much that affects uh, our bottom line. You know, I think it's really tough to put something in a video or in a brochure to show somebody, say, hey, this is what we do. I think that if people can see what we've done, if people can come here and visit and we can give them a tour of the facility, show them the process, and then obviously see the technology that we use, you know, we're definitely up there as far as our capabilities. If we can get them in here and walk around on the floor and talk about their problem, or we can go to their shop floor and walk around and talk about their problem, I think that that's where they start to understand that we, we can help them.